Hello, my name is Amber LaRock and I am a staff writer with Emergency Vets USA as well as a licensed veterinary technician. Our goal at Emergency Vets USA is to educate you on topics regarding your pet's health. So today we'll be discussing hepatic lipidosis in cats, which is a severe medical complication that can develop when a cat stops eating. So because this is a potential complication that can develop after any type of illness that our cats experience, it's important to be aware of the disease itself and the symptoms that can occur and allow you to take your cat to the vet as soon as possible. So hepatic lipidosis in cats often occurs after a prolonged fasting period or a period with a decreased amount of food intake. Basically what happens is the body will go into a crisis mode and this leads to fat being broken down at a rapid rate within the liver. This puts a significant amount of stress on the liver and it basically overwhelms the liver's metabolic process. In turn, this leads to fatty deposits um, being left behind in the liver cells. The fat present within the cells in the liver make it really challenging for the liver to do its job and it can lead to ultimate liver failure if it is not addressed as soon as possible. Because the liver plays such a significant role in so many processes within the feline body, hepatic lipidosis is a fatal condition if it is not treated immediately. So as we just mentioned, hepatic lipidosis in cats typically develops after the cat stops eating for any reason. So this can develop after a cat has significant GI upset, pancreatitis, diabetes, cancer, just basically any type of medical condition that leads to anorexia in a cat. So not only will you have to worry about the previous medical condition that led to their anorexia, but the significant liver complication that develops as a result. Cats with hepatic lipidosis may experience continued anorexia, vomiting, diarrhea, weight loss, lethargy, significant weakness, you may start to notice jaundice, which is basically just a yellowing of the skin or even the eyes. And some cats will even experience muscle tremors and seizures. So part of what makes hepatic lipidosis such a complicated condition in cats is that not only does it require immediate attention to be resolved, but the recovery is typically quite long. Not only will most cats typically require immediate hospitalization to pull them out of crisis mode, but the recovery process can last anywhere from four to eight weeks based on how quickly they bounce back and how severe their liver values are. Cats with hepatic lipidosis will not only need to be pulled out of their initial crisis that they present in, but they will need to receive nutritional support going forward for the four to eight week period based on their situation. This typically involves keeping your cat in the hospital for anywhere from two to five days. Basically just involves resolving any dehydration and any of the other symptoms that they're experiencing as a result of their illness and their hepatic lipidosis. When they're in the hospital, your vet will begin to address the nutritional deficit that they're experiencing by placing a feeding tube. Your veterinarian will do this by putting your cat under general anesthesia, making a small incision on the throat and inserting a feeding tube through the esophagus and into the stomach. This feeding tube will allow your vet to deliver adequate nutrition directly to the stomach and in turn will allow you to continue to deliver adequate nutrition to their stomach at home in the following weeks. If your cat makes it through their initial crisis and is able to leave the hospital, you will need to continue their care at home. What this will typically involve is feeding them through their feeding tube for the next four to eight weeks, again, based on their situation. Your veterinarian will send you with a special diet that you will puree in the form that they ask you to, and you will typically feed your cat a set amount anywhere from three to five times a day through a syringe through a port on their feeding tube. Your veterinarian will go over this process with you in detail. They will not let you leave the hospital until you feel comfortable with the process. And once you understand it, it's actually quite easy. It's pretty straightforward and cats tolerate it well. For more detailed information on hepatic lipidosis in cats, including the symptoms, the diagnosis, and the treatment process, be sure to review the article that is attached to this video, but stay tuned to Emergency Vets USA for more topics on pet health.